Hi folks, it is Miss Jo coming at you from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Today is January the 4th, 2022, and is our first day of at-home learning for um, the after, break, after winter break. And um, just coming in to say hi and to encourage all of you to um, stay positive and do your best while you're at home. We don't need to... Um, we don't need to accomplish everything. Uh, we don't need to try to accomplish everything. We can take what things one step at a time. Uh, the best way that your brain can learn is to take it in about 20 minute chunks and then take maybe a five minute break in between. Um, and, and that way you'll get your learning done and you'll still be rested and rejuvenated and ready to go. Um, something I want to talk to you a little bit today about is our circle of control. Now, the circle of control is something that if you've spoken to me in my office before, um, you would have seen a great big bulletin board that talks about the circle of control. And it's something that we need to use when we are in uncertain times, like we are right now, um, and we are at home. So when we're thinking and we're doing our at-home learning, when we're thinking of the things that we have control over and the things that we don't have control over, um, the, the major worries that we have are big worries. They often come in the form of thinking about a lot, spending a lot of time and energy, thinking about things that are outside of our control. And um, the COVID situation in PEI right now, it's not something that's within your direct control. You can help by doing your part, getting vaccinated if you're old enough to do so, um, by you know making sure you wear your mask in public spaces, that you keep your six feet distance. Those are things that are within your control. And as long as you're doing those, then you can feel like, you know what, I'm doing everything that I can do and I'm contributing to the best outcome for myself and for everyone around me and um, for all of Prince Edward Island. And if you're doing those things, then you're doing what you can do that's within your control. If you start to worry about, well, I wonder what the update's going to say today, how many numbers, do you think you have control over that? Because I certainly don't have control over it. I mean, Dr. Morrison doesn't have control over that. So that's something that if we have those thoughts, we can push that aside and say, oh, wait, that's something that I don't have control over. So I don't need to worry about that. Instead, I can think about what I can do. Um, and the things that you can do is make sure you're getting enough exercise keep a good routine. So even though you can do your home learning at any time of day, for the most part, um, even though you can, uh, you know, make uh, whatever schedule you want, you could do it in the middle of the night. It's not the best thing for your body. When we have routines and when we have our, um, our schedules, those things are what keep us healthy and keep us going. So try to keep a schedule. Still set your alarm, wake up at a decent time, go to bed at a decent time, get enough sleep. One would think that when we um, are at home that you can get as much sleep as you like, but still people don't do that. So everybody needs at least eight hours of sleep. If you're a young person, you need more than that. You may need 11 hours or 10 hours of sleep. A teenage growing brain and a preteen growing brain, um, they require more sleep than a baby. So make sure you're giving your brain everything that it needs to be healthy and to survive and to thrive. Um, and that will make you feel better. So your schedule, your routine, so you can, you know, get up. Um, physical exercise is so important and being in nature helps to reset your body and your mind um, and connect you to the world and keep you kind of grounded in, in the place that you're in right now. So make sure you take time out each day to go outside, go for a walk, um, do something you enjoy, play, play some sports, something that you can do on the uh, outside your house um, just for a change of scenery and to help you reconnect with nature a little bit um, and get your exercise because that's super important to all of us and that's parents included are, are uh, you know, should be doing those kind of things um, to keep themselves healthy. Um, and then, you know, set, I'm going to do 20 minutes of my um, 20 minutes of my studies and then I can take a break and like a five minutes is like a minimum break. Um, you know, you could take 10 or 15 minutes and go do something else and then say, okay, set a timer, 
boop, all right, I'm done doing whatever it was that I said I was going to go do, whether it's playing a video game or, um, you know, chatting online with my friends or playing with my phone or doom scrolling or whatever. And, uh, and then say, okay, I'm going to, I'm done that now. So I'm going to go back and do my studies and I can resume that again when my next 20 minute break comes up. So do those things for yourself. Eat your meals at regular times. These are things that are so important to help keep us going. And, um, you know, it may seem like a lot of effort, but it's worth it in the end. Uh, and I am here. I'm available for you. We can chat on the phone. We can chat through email and we can even do a video chat through Zoom. If you would like to reach me, you can email me at jxcullen at edu dot pe.ca. All right. I can't wait to see all your smiling faces again. Um, smiling eyes because you'll be wearing your masks still. And, uh, but until then, take care, stay safe, stay grounded, stay within your circle of control and, um, stay connected. All right. Take care.